Hello everybody and welcome to part two of the Tina Day Challenge. This is the second for Sims. Um, we're starting out with the freshman and her name is Ciara and I actually made her uh, Miss Popular's uh, little sister, well Miss Popular, I guess the cheer captain. Um, I imagine her as like super popular though. Um, so Ciara is the cheer captain's little sister and I actually did it um, in the game through like the play with genetics in create a sim but I wanted her to look significantly younger you know a freshman in high school even though that is technically a teenager I feel like first of all the teens in this game look way too old they look like full-on adults but also a freshman is 14 years old sometimes 13 like freshmen are really young um you know I look back on it now and I think about being a freshman in high school and I thought I was so grown up and you know I thought I was a real teenager um at that point and little did I know um I had a lot to learn still and I certainly was uh no adult I was still very very young and so yeah I wanted to kind of portray that through her style I wanted her to look like she just finished middle school, uh, at least in America. You know, you finish eighth grade, you go to ninth grade, which is freshman, uh, and you're still very young and just a baby. Uh, so that's what I was trying to do with her. I actually do also have a height slider in my game, and so I was able to make her a little bit shorter. Uh, I try not to alter the heights of Sims too much in my game just because animation issues but all of these teens, I did alter their heights a little bit, uh, not too much, but I did mess with it just a little bit to try and kind of add some variation. And also I made a lot of them a little bit shorter just because they are teenagers and there's so little in this game that actually portrays teenagers realistically that I feel like height is, you know, the best I can do. Uh, I did try and kind of give Sierra a little bit of a baby face though. Um, very like innocent, maybe, you know, this is, this is her prom look. Uh, I'm doing all of the formal looks as prom looks. And so I tried to imagine that maybe, you know, for her prom look, her mom picked her dress and she's only able to go to prom because her sister's going or something like that. You know, in at least at my school, you were only allowed to go to prom as a junior or senior unless you were invited by someone uh, from that was a junior or senior. And so I imagine Kelsey is a little bit older and was kind of forced by her mom to take Ciara to her first high school dance. And Ciara was just dressed by her mom, didn't know what to wear. Uh, so she kind of has more of like a poofy princess dress, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's something only younger people can wear, but it just gave off kind of what I was looking for, I guess. I also did give her a little bit of jewelry and a little bit of makeup, but I didn't give her a whole lot. Uh, I also gave her some acne. You know, I don't, I would think that anybody in high school would probably have acne, but especially at 14 and 15 years old, I feel like that's when it's really bad. Uh, for me, that's when it was really bad. So I did give that to her. I also gave her this like short choppy hair with bangs and a headband. It's just, it's such a cute hair. I love this hair. I give it to so many Sims actually. And I think it suits her really well as well. Um, and yeah, I also imagined for her party wear that maybe this is something that she would wear because, you know, some older upperclassman invited her to a high school party. And so she's like really trying to dress cool or dress like the older kids, but doesn't really know how to do it. Uh, and maybe she was able to enlist the help of her sister with her makeup or maybe not. I actually don't know if the girls would dislike each other or not. I kind of imagine that Kelsey sees her little sister as like this weird younger kid that's like dragging her down and making her less cool. But I actually don't know. I haven't like thought 
that much into it. So that is her. And so next we have our, I'm going to, I've been calling him like a country boy, the actual challenge. It's supposed to be redneck, but I've heard some people say that that word can be offensive or they don't like it. And I've, you know, I grew up in, I grew up in Wyoming and a lot of people would self-label themselves as redneck, but I'm just gonna choose to call him a country boy. And so I went like very stereotypical as I have been for this entire challenge. I gave him a mullet and what I imagine is like a trucker's hat um, and boots and jeans. And I think I gave him a flannel too. So, uh very typical like country bumpkin kind of guy uh but I do also imagine that like he's very sweet um you know I wouldn't necessarily say that fits the stereotype but I was just making him and I I really liked him I was I just felt like he was actually just a really sweet guy and he was who really likes you know animals and being outside and I also tried to give him more of like a ruddy complexion. I was kind of struggling to do it because I didn't really have the skin details I exactly wanted, but that was kind of my goal, trying to imply maybe that he spends a lot of time outside and maybe doesn't wear as much sunscreen as he should. Yeah, and then I also did end up giving him a little bit of facial hair. I was trying to find a balance of like this is still a teenager, obviously, but I wanted him to have just a little bit of stubble. You know, he seems like he's a little bit older. Um, and high school's kind of, it's a weird mix of people because you have, like I said earlier, 14 year olds, which 14 to me is so young. That is a baby. Um, but then you have 18 year olds who are ready to, you know, go to college or get a job and like start adulthood, which, you know, 18 year olds don't necessarily know how to do that, but um, they are ready to kind of leave and the character development and like growth between 14 and 18 is massive. Uh, so I don't actually know how old a lot of these sims are. The only one I know for sure is the freshman is 14. Like, she's a baby. Um, but the rest of these sims, I couldn't tell you what year they're in in school. I just know they are between 9th and 12th grade. Um, something else I wanted to mention, you may notice my create a sim background is like a purpley color right now. Um, I was kind of experimenting. I was like, huh, maybe I shouldn't just do like a plain white or like an off-white uh, creatives in background. I feel like I've had that forever. You know, maybe I should do something a little more colorful. Uh, and I wanted to do something fun, but then I decided not to because it's harder to cut sims out for thumbnails and that kind of thing. And I didn't want to have to constantly switch my creative sim backgrounds. So I tried this purple and I did it for these first two and then I went to this one and this is the one I'm staying with. So um, yeah, that is the deal with that. I'm sorry it switched in the middle of the video, but that's just kind of what I did. I'm sorry. Anyways, we are on to our next sim. She is the try hard. And guys, I'm going to be honest, I think this is probably my favorite sim I've ever made. I think she's so pretty and I love her style. I dressed her almost like she's wearing a school uniform or something. I imagine she's wearing actually like a debate club uniform, at least in my school. Like the people that were in debate club were always wearing like very business casual or like dressy casual outfits uh and so that's what I dressed her in and I tried to give her this like very minimalistic almost style I did give her you know the business casual kind of outfits but then I also gave her like very simple earrings very clean and simple makeup um I just really felt like this girl probably imagines like 
she has to do everything perfect, which I totally relate to. I always, you know, I, I've always been a perfectionist. I always wanted to do everything all the time. And I feel like she tries really hard to please her parents who are maybe a little bit strict and uh, she wants to fit in and be popular. She wants to get good grades. You know, she wants to do everything. Um, and I feel like she really struggles with it. Like maybe she holds herself to these really high expectations and feels like she's just never good enough. Um, and I also feel like maybe she kind of struggles at school because I feel like she tries so hard at everything and, you know, she's kind of a teacher's pet and she's also, you know, trying so hard to fit in with other kids that people don't really like her. You know, they see that she's a try hard and they kind of feel like, oh, you know, this girl is kind of pushy. Um, I don't know if I like her. Um which kind of makes me feel bad for her. And I relate to her so much because honestly, like this was my high school experience. Um, I tried so hard in school. I was, at the time, I didn't have my ADHD diagnosis and I was a former gifted kid. And so I was dealing with burnout. I was dealing with trying to meet the expectations I had for myself that had been set uh, when I was a kid in, in gifted and talented education. Um, and I no longer knew how to keep up with that. And so I feel like I really can relate to how I imagine she's feeling. Um, and I really like her. I think if I'm going to do any video content playing with this pack, I'm probably going to play with her. I, like I said, I'm obsessed with this sim probably because I just relate to her wholeheartedly. Um, I also think it'd be really fun to make her family. I've thought about maybe making her siblings um, in the game and maybe making her siblings one of these Tina Day uh, sims and making her parents and maybe her parents are like really strict and expect a lot from her and either you know maybe her sibling is kind of uh rebellious and her, their parents have given up on this sibling or maybe you know the parents hold both kids to a really high uh, expectation and you know, I know that's not always the case. Like for me, my parents never held me to that expectation. I held myself to that expectation. Um, but I feel like maybe for this sim, it's kind of a more interesting storyline, honestly, if, you know, maybe she does have strict parents. And I think it'd be really interesting character development for her to go from like really trying her best to honestly like going downhill and then maybe coming back from that. I don't know. I just, I think it might be a really fun thing to play out in the game. Um, something I did also want to mention, like I said, I feel like she's in like a debate club and I'm really kind of disappointed that this pack only came with American football and cheerleading. Uh, I may have missed something, but as far as I'm aware, like that's it. And high school is so much more than those things. Um, there's so many clubs, like I've mentioned, the high school I went to was huge and there were hundreds, and I mean that, hundreds of clubs. And there was everything from debate club or like mock trial to anime club. And I remember my friends and I used to go to Bob Ross Club on Wednesdays where everyone got highlighters and a piece of paper and we had to try our best to copy a Bob Ross video. Um, and it was a dumb club, but it was a an official school club and there were probably 20 people in it. Um, and I think it was just like a fun excuse to hang out and like mess around and do something kind of dumb. But, you know, we were allowed to create this club and they always said at my school that, you know, if you have an idea for a club and a minimum of five friends that will do it with you, absolutely, you can make this an official school club as long as it's obviously school appropriate. And so that's how we ended up with so many clubs um, and I could have never joined them all. But I feel like that's more realistic, you know, not necessarily 
super realistic to have literally hundreds of gloves. I don't know if that's a normal high school experience, but there were definitely more than two. And I also feel like all of the clubs, well, both of the, I guess, sports or clubs or activities in this pack are sports. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of other things in high school. Like a huge one for me was theater. I was in theater and choir, and that was a huge, huge part of my high school experience. And we just don't have that. Um, and obviously, you know, to an ex to a certain extent, you can pretend and say maybe you make a club from get together. And as long as you have get famous, you can say like practice acting and that kind of stuff. But it's just not the same. You know, I want a drama club. <laughs> so, and I've mentioned a lot, I think there's a lot of opportunities with this pack for modding. And it's unfortunate that we have to rely so much on modders for this game. But I do also look forward to seeing what modders are able to do with uh, where EA was lacking. Um, so I'm really excited for that. I'm not, though, excited for patch day um, and updating all of my mods because I am planning on putting out a... Uh, post on my Tumblr soon with all of my mods. And by mods, I mean mods, not CC. I'm just talking about mods. And I am maybe almost halfway done. And oh my gosh, there's probably already like 50 mods on this list. It is a nightmare. And then I have to go and I have to find the links for them. But it'll also be like a really good resource for patch day. So I'm trying to think of it like that. You know, if I have all the links consolidated into one area, I can just go and um, figure out what needs to be updated really easily and already have the links set up. Anyways, I have talked like halfway through this sim. Um, so this sim is the hipster. And I was kind of struggling trying to figure out what I wanted to put her in as far as clothing. I knew I wanted to give her jeans um, with a flannel tied around the waist. I feel like that's such a typical uh, hipster outfit. And then also like oversized t-shirt dresses. And I realized when I was playing that I don't have any oversized t-shirt dresses. I have a couple oversized t-shirts and a couple oversized sweatshirts, but no like t-shirt dresses. And so then immediately I was like, okay, well, I have to find some of this somewhere. And, you know, if I had one that had a flannel tied around the waist, that would have been perfect for this sim. But I didn't, and I couldn't find one. So instead, I just kind of went with what I had. Um, I'm also not super sure about her formal wear. I think it's a really cute outfit, but I don't really feel like it's formal or hipster. <laughs> um... I feel like it maybe fits more into everyday or um, cold weather wear, but I kind of fell in love with it, so I just did it anyways. Um, this is pretty much what her outfit ends up being, um, and so I wasn't sure if it was formal enough, but I also didn't think it super mattered. You know, it's teenagers. I didn't have a sense of fashion or understand anything when I was a teenager, so uh, I just gave it to her anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't actually remember her name, but I remember this fashion st style being so popular probably five or ten years ago, uh, and I used to want to dress like this so bad, um, and I remember buying flannels from, like, Goodwill, um, constantly, and then never wearing them, <laughs> um, and I just, I used to be in love with this style and I still think it's cute, but I've gone down more like alternative, um, more almost emo-ish fashion these days. So I don't think I would dress like this anymore, but I still think it's very cute. Um, like I said, I don't have any t-shirt dresses, but I did have this oversized t-shirt and if I gave her shorts... It, like, perfectly covered the shorts, so I imagine, like, okay, so this is a dress, but, you know, when she's in school, if any of the teachers are like, 
hey, uh, you need to wear a skirt that's longer than this, she could be like, oh, I'm wearing shorts. Because um, I pulled that kind of thing all the time in school. I would wear shorts under skirts or dresses that were too short. And then, I mean, and I'm talking like denim shorts. And so then I could be like, oh, well, I have on shorts. And they're not just like under skirt shorts. They're actual shorts. <laughs> so I would try and pull that. Um, anyways, that is this set of Sims. I do have quite a few more to do, but that is all I have for today. And I really hope you enjoyed and you stick around for the next part of this series. Have a beautiful day.